Hey guys, I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Intellect Digest. Welcome to special episode of Mobile World Congress 2014 special coverage from Intellect Digest. The mobile operating system of Ubuntu is almost ready and they will launch in 2014 on mobile phones as well as tablets. At Mobile World Congress 2014, we got a chance to have the hands-on experience of the Ubuntu OS. Let me quickly show you what this OS is capable of doing. First of all, the user interface of this OS is very clean. The OS works on multi-user functionality like it has on a computer. So you can first of all log in into any of the user profiles. Here we log in into the guest mode and we reach a home screen. This time there are no home buttons, menu buttons, etc. Rather there is a very intuitive touch base interface in which you slide from the different corners of the screen for different functionalities. When you open the Ubuntu device, you land on a home screen where it shows you your most recently accessed applications, your available applications from the store on the bottom part of the screen. If you swipe from the left, you see the most frequently accessed applications. So it is like a dock of applications which you use very frequently. If you swipe up from the bottom, you will see the menu options for the app which you are running at present and it also supports multitasking. You can run two applications side by side so it does support true multitasking wherein two applications are running on the same screen in a split screen mode. For that you have to slide towards the left from the right edge of the screen and it will show you the side stage application. The side stage application is nothing but the secondary application which is running and the main application is on the left or on the full screen. The main application occupies most of the area until and unless you swipe towards the left from the right edge of the screen. When you swipe down from the top edge, they call it indicators. These indicators are nothing but the status or the settings of the device like the volume control, network control, etc. You can simply swipe from the top, control these settings or change these settings or view these settings like you can control the volume, you can control network and other important parameters of the device. Ubuntu OS has tied up with two handset providers or OEM providers for launching their initial devices. One is Maizu from China and other is BQ which is a European player. Both these brands are expected to launch their Ubuntu OS based devices in 2014 only. So we will be keeping an eye on these launches and bring you the latest updates. This is all we have on this hands on we hope you like this video. Do check out our other videos from Mobile World Congress 2014. We have traveled around 7000 kilometers to give you this exclusive video coverage. We hope you like this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below for more such videos. Stay subscribed by pressing the subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.